So what do you do when the liberals have come in, put in all their policies, and do what liberals, also known as socialists, do, which is destroy the economy and destroy, well, pretty much everything they touch? Well, normally, the conservatives wake up and wake up enough of the moderates to go, guys, how much longer do you want to keep living like this? And enough of the moderates go, yeah, I'm done with it. We've tried it. It really didn't work. We'll move on. And then they put a conservative in to fix it. Winston Churchill had to do it in England several times. And in California, the cycle used to be liberals who would come in, do what I just explained. And then after that, they would bring in a conservative for a term or two. They would straighten everything out, get the budget going again, get everything functioning one more time. And then just like Californians who have fled the state, New Yorkers who fled the state and they're going to new states to get away from the horrors that they created with their voting are now instituting that in their states, which is the other definition of Californication, where you move to a new state from California or New York as the case may be, you start implementing the same crappy rules that you fled from and voila, you start getting the same crappy results you got when you left off. Crappy? Isn't that what San Francisco is with crap all over the streets where they actually pay people to pick it up? Yes, yes, yes it is. So it's not a metaphor. But California, the last time they elected a Republican to fix things, it was Arnold Schwarzenegger. And when Arnold Schwarzenegger was brought in to fix it so he wouldn't be a girly man, he would be the Terminator. That was actually in his campaign. And then after he lost his first run of... Oh, uh, what do they call those things? He put a bunch of stuff on the ballot because California is a state where you can do referendums, where it's actual democracy, one person, one vote. Well, at least we hope. And and he lost. He lost all of them. And then the rest of his term was his tail between his legs and he was completely useless and absolutely not a Republican from that point on. And therefore, nothing got fixed. And then Jerry Brown came back for a third term, even though it's against law to have more than two terms. Then he had a fourth term, which is amazing because it's against law to have more than two terms. And whatever, remember, D means doesn't apply to me. R stands for responsible for everything. D doesn't stand for Democrat. R doesn't stand for responsible. I know my regular viewers are like, are you going to say that again? I've got new people checking in. I do, I do. So here we are. L.A. is in a disaster with its homeless situation, spending over $619 million in four years, only to make it worse. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Not really. So now Trump eyes cracking down on the homelessness as AIDS visit California. Hello, and welcome to the Tea Party Hardy channel, where the party is just getting started. Current events looked at through a skeptical eye using science, history, and sometimes humor to explore the events of the day. Let's get down to business. Ooh, look, irony. Department of Water and Power, City of Los Angeles, and the people who live in these tents have neither water nor power. You can take a homeless person to water, but you can't make them drink or let them have a drink. Whatever the case may be. So, President Trump is pushing aides to find ways to curtail the growing number of homeless people living on the streets of Los Angeles. Part of a broader discussion his aides have held for weeks about urban problems in liberal locations. A court, yeah, mm -hmm. notice it's not conservative locations. No, turns out those people, oh, conservatives, they prefer paying their own bills and cleaning up their own mess. Not liberal thinking, is it? Mm -mm. According to his personal lawyer and administration officials. So they went out there on a fact-finding mission. Good for them. Like many Americans, the president has taken notice of the homeless crisis, particularly in cities and states where the liberal policies of over-regulation, excessive taxation, that's California, and poor public service delivery... Mm. I don't know what that means, are combining to dramatically increase poverty and public health risk. Oh, what's bubonic plague and tomane? Come on, get over it, said Judy Deer. Please do not catch her in your headlights. A White House spokesman. Oh, sorry, Judd Deer. Ooh, I assumed his gender incorrectly. All right. He said that the president signed an executive order to ease affordable housing development in June. It's not really the housing that's the issue in California. 
in the sense that there's housing here. They just charge too much for it. So it would be more beneficial for more people to find a way to get jobs. And if you're straight up homeless, then you need to find a way to get a shower because that's the most important thing because people don't like working with stinky people. And then the other thing that needs to be done is to allow more construction, which Jerry Brown in term three and four did everything he could to stop. And Newsom and the gang, uh, he's the new governor. That's why he's called Newsom. Someday he'll be called Olsom. Uh, they will be, they're still restricting construction. So supply and demand. An estimated 59,000 homeless people live in Los Angeles County, according to a count conducted this year by the county, uh, about 12% increase over 2018 after spending $519 million. Of those estimated 44,000, oh, blah, 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 you can look it up. Oh, here we go, see? Tax and spend. Voters approved two high-profile initiatives in recent years to fund homeless services in the region, including a 2016 city bond that earmarked $1.2 billion in building housing for the homeless, which they haven't done yet. And 2017, because NIMBY is not in my backyard, and 2017 county quarter sales tax increase to raise almost $355 million annually for 10 years, which they will spend. And this $1.2 billion, you think it's going to sit in the kitty very long without being spent? Mm -mm. It's California, baby. Worst roads in freaking America and the highest gas tax. Those should not be friends. The mayor defends the city and officials have pointed out that the city housed nearly 22,000 people in 2018, a record number for the government, and an increase of 23% from 2017. But even amid those efforts, the high cost of housing in Los Angeles, one of the priciest rental markets in the country, oh yes, yes it is, has continued to push more individuals and families out of their homes. Now, in the old days, people would just move, and they would go to a new place. The trick is, you have to have money to move. You have to have money to rent a vehicle to carry your stuff. And even if you don't want to move all your stuff, you just sell everything and you go, st which barely, except for the gold rushers, pretty much nobody ever did that. Oh, I know you people are going to disagree with me, but whatever. Um, the point is, you have to have money to move. You have to have a place to stay when you get there. And it, it's, it's not as easy to move as it used to be. And maybe it wasn't easy in the old days either, but it, it's definitely not easy now. But while the displeasure of middle-class urban residents often receives attention, the homeless themselves, many of whom have half-time jobs, excuse me, have full-time jobs, but can't afford California's high rents, have the most frustrating... Uh, boom, 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 have the most to be frustrated about. Safety is a huge concern. An analyst published earlier this year by Kaiser Health News found that a record 918 homeless people have died last year in Los Angeles County. I don't... They're lumping stuff together that's like, can you sew that together? Because you really didn't. You're just spouting random stuff and hiding it in one paragraph. The administration has discussed refurbished homeless facilities or building new ones, the Post reported. An administration official said that while those ideas have been discussed, nothing has been settled. So while they're doing that fact-finding mission, but it's not clear what steps the administration could legally take on an issue that has traditionally been handled at the local level. Well, clearly they're not handling it. And isn't it funny, for those of you who are really old, you will remember that Reagan and Bush and Bush were constantly blamed for the homelessness situation, and they were the president. So... The New York Times and all those folks on the left love to point the finger at the right when they can, even when it's their fault. And it's been pointed out by several people the reason that none of the Democrats are talking about fixing the situation who are running for president is because it's their, it's their problem. It's their fault. It's their policy. We'll see if, if Trump can come in and fix it where, where the voters have failed because the voters keep returning the people that are failing and taxing and spending and making their friends very, very rich while more and more people are getting poor. We hope you enjoyed the content. And if you did, feel free to like, subscribe, come on back anytime. You're always welcome here as part of the family. And we'll see you in the future.